on my channel, I show you how to make people feel special through food. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to impress anyone with this recipe for an omelet. And I brought on my omelet expert, Susan, my sister, and she actually taught me how to make omelets and she's going to tell you how she learned to make omelets. Yeah, I just, I love eating omelets and I ate them every morning at college actually. And one day I just asked the guy who makes me omelets every morning to show me how to make them and he did and the rest is history. For these omelets, we're gonna use some onions, sausage, bacon, bell pepper. You will notice the meat is cooked, the veggies are raw here. I have some eggs scrambled with no milk in it, some tomatoes and some shredded cheese. I'm just using a basic pan. This is a pan from Sam's Club, but any small frying pan will work. Nonstick is nice. I'm using some Pam or nonstick cooking spray. I have some canola oil and then a couple spatulas. I like to use a rubber spatula and then more of a stiff um, flipping type flat spatula. All right, so this is how do we start? I mean, I think the first thing that we need to do is spray our pan with some Pam. All right, so we add in the Pam and then we go into our veggies and meat. We're adding everything into this omelet. We have onions and peppers, um, tomatoes, bacon, sausage. If you have spinach or mushrooms or green onions, those would all be great additions here. And how long does this cook for? Um, just a couple minutes, I think, making sure that the peppers especially have gotten cooked a little bit, but also you don't need to have them brown or anything before you put your eggs in because they'll continue to cook while you're cooking your eggs. Right, and if you're just making this like a meat omelet, um, you can just go straight into the next step, putting the eggs in. But if you have peppers and onions, you want to be careful that um, they're staying nice and soft. Now we're just moving the veggies and meat around in the pan. Um, just stir every once in a while until everything looks nice and soft. I think the peppers are starting to look cooked and the onions are starting to just get a little bit more soft. One ingredient that we usually have in here is spinach, but we don't have it today, so we weren't able to put it in our omelet, but it really adds nice flavor to your omelet. Yeah, and so once everything's soft, again, like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, however you kind of like it, then we're ready to add the eggs. But before we add the eggs, we add oil. This actually seems counterintuitive, like you should do the oil first and then the pan. Um, this is the way that a trained professional told us how to do it. So we're just going the pro way, I guess. Um, so you, we're just using this little squeeze bottle, which works well, but you can use anything. And you're going to need a little bit. Um, don't skimp too much, especially if you don't have nonstick pans. These nonstick pans help a lot. And then we're just going to scoop the egg mixture into it. Again, we just put eggs and scrambled them. You don't want to add too much milk. You could add a little milk. And at this point, you also want to hit with some salt and pepper to your taste. I'm sure you could add like other herbs or something like that. Um, but that's all we use. So you want to put it in, you want it to be nice and hot, and then you want to let it cook just for a little bit. Once all your veggies look cooked, add the oil and make sure your pan is hot. You can tell from this video that this pan is super hot. Adding in the eggs, you can add as much or as little eggs as you want, depending on how big of an omelet you want, and then hit it with salt and pepper and let it start cooking. You'll notice it starts cooking Brown around the edge. edge. You're going to see that it's starting to cook and you're going to let it cook for a little bit until all of the edge is cooked and then you're going to move in and start moving things around. So, do you think it's cooked enough? I think, yeah, once you start seeing that the outside edge is cooked a little bit, any place that you see it cooked, I just like to lift that side up and let the uncooked egg flow into that side and kind of let it set again until the outside edge is cooked and you just keep repeating that process. You'll just keep repeating the process. Um, pulling the cooked egg off the side of the pan, tipping the raw egg in that spot, and you just keep going until you kind of have all that raw egg off the top of the omelet, um, and there is no more sides to um, pull down. One thing when I'm cooking eggs that I really like to have is the spatula. It's my favorite. Um, I like it's nice and firm, even at the tip, but it's a little wide. That's true. It is kind of nice actually to use a rubber spatula for this part, even though like usually we'd use like egg or pancake spatulas. Um, sometimes when we flip it, we might use a different spatula. Like sometimes we'll use something like this. Um, but actually these rubber spatulas like this work really well um, to move the egg because it doesn't break it um, like a plastic one would. I usually wait until 
the whole thing has really firmed up and you can see that as you shake it that it's not completely firmed up before I flip it. This is a great test to check and see if you're almost ready to flip. Give it a shake. If it looks like it's holding together, you're ready. If not, give it 30 more seconds to a minute. Okay, so when you see that it is um, drying out on top, you're still going to see some wet spots. It's not all cooked, so don't let it cook all the way on the bottom because it's going to be burnt on the bottom if that happens. Um, but once you see it drying out, and like Susan said, if you move the pan around, it should kind of start to hold together. You don't want it to jiggle too much. You are ready to flip it. Now, when we're flipping it, there's a couple ways that you can do it. So when you go to flip it, if you're not sure how to flip it, if you're worried about flipping it, just safety up. And I've done this where you put a pan over it and flip it. So if that's how you want to roll, do that. It, it works pretty well that way. Um, but obviously you have two pans getting dirty and you have to have two pans to make that work. Um, Susan's really good at flipping it. She actually can do like the Julia Child flip in the air do you want me to situation. Do Not right now. Shucks. We'll save that for later. Uh, what do we, how do we usually flip it? Normally when we flip the omelet, we will grab a bigger spatula that kind of can go underneath the whole omelet. Because now the egg's kind of set up so it, like it's not going to break up quite as much. And then we go and we just... Your omelet should look a lot like this when it's time to flip. Get that spatula under there, give it a flip, and there you have it. Flip it, and it held together this time. If you ever have anything that breaks, you don't have to consider it a lost cause. Honestly, usually there's enough raw egg that'll kind of set up and fill in the cracks. You put some cheese in it and it's good to go. So it's not about being perfect, so just get it flipped over, and again, if you have any, like. Um, fumbles there just kind of get it all over so you have all the uncooked egg on the bottom and then kind of pat it together with your spatula and it actually will kind of cook back together and the cheese will hold together the rest of it so yeah. not rocket science speaking of cheese we can probably put that on now we will yeah. let it cook for a couple seconds and then just go ahead and throw that stuff on top yeah we're using cheddar cheese today you can use any cheese you like I will say that we shredded this ourselves the stuff you might pre shredded um, it's fine so if you have that, that's great, but it is coated in cornstarch and you're not going to get like a super nice melt on the cheese. So if you want a really nice melt, do that. If you really want to impress somebody with this recipe, use some Gouda. If you said, would you like Gouda in your omelet? I would be thoroughly impressed. So Extremely. pick up some Gouda. The last thing we're going to do here is just flip the omelet closed and Ooh. we're done. We're going to put it on a plate and just slide it out onto your plate. And you're done. You've made your very first omelet and you're ready to impress somebody with this recipe. So I think anyone would be impressed if you made an omelet for them. Just saying omelet is impressive. It's French. I hope you go out and make your own omelet. They really aren't that hard, but it's such a great skill to have. If you're wondering what to serve with an omelet, maybe try some of this unstuffed French toast from a video a couple weeks ago. I'll link it down below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And if you thought of somebody who might enjoy this video, share it with them. I will see you next week. Have a good week. Bye.